I'm Bill, I'm with Kalimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage. Today we have the Ducati on the lift, and I thought I'd do a little something for you guys, a little how-to DIY. It's not something that I really fancy personally, um, but I wanted to take a shot at it, and uh, while I was doing it, I thought I'd bring you guys along and uh, see if I can teach you guys a thing or two on how to safety wire your sprocket on your Ducati. Seems like it's a big thing. Everyone's kind of doing it. I see it. It's kind of jewelrying it up your bike. And um, so I've taken a shot at it a couple times, and I've got a few sample uh, safety wires already done. So I've kind of got the idea down. So today we're gonna walk through kind of a step-by-step -step on everything you need and uh, kind of my uh, way of doing it. Uh, I think it looks pretty decent. I'm not sure that there's a better way, but if there is, uh, make sure you comment down below. But while you're there, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Of course, smash the like button and then ring that bell notification because we got some more stuff coming out for the Ducati. So let's go over what we need. First, you're gonna need safety wire. Now I have this uh, Marlin wire and I actually have thicker wires. So this might also not be helping me as much. I actually have the 0.041, which is like the last on the list of wires. So it's much thicker diameter wire. Um, if you get thinner diameter, I think it's gonna help you guys. Uh, I have figured out that we need to cut a 36 inch piece folded in half. So you can see I fold it in half, okay? So this is how we're gonna start. And this is gonna take us basically that foot and a half is gonna take us all the way around the sprocket. Now I also have some uh, needle nose or some uh, wire cutters. And last but not least, you're gonna need a pair of these. I've linked these down in the description below with Amazon along with the safety wire. So if this is something you guys wanna do, uh, you guys can get this all on Amazon. So uh, let's uh, follow up. I've got another GoPro running right here, which is gonna get us, I, I think a pretty good up close view, but you're gonna see me, I'm kinda gonna be running around because you really gotta finagle this right. So um, it's not the easiest thing, be patient, but I think once you get it down, once you get the technique down, it's gonna be pretty simple. So uh, let's go ahead first and what we're gonna stop, let's start is right up at the top. We're gonna top right at 12 o'clock and we wanna take our little loop, okay? So you can see our loop and we're gonna loop it around the first cush bolt, okay? And we are going to run this down to the next bolt. And we are going to crimp it with our pliers. So here's our pliers. And I like to crimp with the head downwards. So like this. So this is gonna be crimped on here. And as you can see here, we're gonna stop crimping. So the base of the crimp is gonna be at the end of the bolt. Now, to crimp these, this is a little bit of a challenge. You're gonna squeeze it real tight and lock it, okay? Now, my desire, personally, is I found three spins, three pulls of the spinner um, gives me the look that I want. Now, two pulls is gonna kinda be a chunky chain. Three, it's gonna take those chains down. Four, if you tighten too much, you're just gonna break the wire. So, we're gonna grab our little puller on the back, and we're gonna pull this thing one full turn. Make sure you get the full turn, okay? And then also what's nice is if you do three full turns, you're gonna get consistent a consistent look. So one, two, and then three, okay? So we've got three full turns now. Now we're gonna pull the pliers off, so we just unclick them. And now you'll notice that the wire is right at the, the next cush, okay? So you're gonna wrap it around, and then you're gonna take it down to the next bolt. Take your pliers. Again, crimp it at the base of the next bolt. Right here, one, all right. Now, this is where it starts to get a little challenging because we've got to keep it, make sure it's, it's kept around the, uh, the cush. So we're gonna pull this thing three times. Remember, this wire kind of gets in the way, so that's one. I don't feel like that was one, but okay. 
two, and three. All right, so now we're gonna uncrimp it. And again, get it down. We should be right at that cush, which we are. And we're gonna go on to the next one. Now, I'm gonna move the GoPro, so stay with me over here, because I need to get into this next one. So then we're gonna go to it. We're gonna crimp it at the base, remember, right at the beginning of the bolt. Lock it. And as this gets shorter, it becomes easier. So one, two, and three. And unlock it. God, just, I'm getting better. This is my third attempt. So, um, and then we'll go ahead and loop this around. Back up. And... At the base, lock it. One, two, three, unlock. <clears throat> it actually gets easier, so do it maybe three times because um, I think third time is the charm, baby. So let's see, there we go. Right there. Oh, this actually looks really good now. <laughs> the first time was a hack job. The second time was good. This time, it's really good. So do it a couple times, you guys. <laughs> so back up here. Let's go ahead and move our GoPro back so we can kind of see where we're at. Up close and personal. And then again, so you can see, see here, see I crimp it right at the base, okay? And then we're going to go one, two, three, so you see how it's tightened here, it's tightened at all of them, and then what we do is we're going to go take that top one, loop it around, so we're there. And then back to the final one. Now the final one, what we want to do is we want to go underneath the braid and um, we're going to do a quick turn, about three, three turns by hand, one, two, three. Then we're going to snip it and tuck it down and around, okay? So take the bottom piece, go underneath, and then grab the top piece. Actually, excuse me, I'm wrong. We need to twirl one more time before we loop it down and around. So pull that back out. And we need to get right at the end. So remember, we're right at the end. And one, two, three. Ooh, yeah, baby. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this last piece, thread it underneath. So this way, our last piece goes up and under and then over. So you guys can see right there, see how it's kind of up and under. So we are behind the first braid, okay? And so now, go ahead and crimp it. And this one, I'm just gonna turn by hand one, two, actually two looks good. Two looks really good. I think I'm gonna stop at two because I kind of like two. So, see how it's behind. So we've got down, click, and you see it's nice and tight around there, nice and tight around there, nice and tight around there, all the way around. Now we get to our last one. Now we're gonna grab our wire cutters and snip this last piece right at the last braid. Ugh. Okay. And then we're going to take our little pliers and we're going to bend this down and hide it a little bit behind. So let me grab my other hand real quick. 
So we're just going to push this just behind up, and just hide it a little bit. That's all we're trying to do here. There we go. And there you go. All right, so you, now you guys can see that we've started up here and we've gone down, 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 and all the way around. And the last little piece we've kind of hidden back under there so you really can't see it. And there you are. All your braids are the same amount, so there's pretty much the same amount of twisting between them. And uh, it's good and tight. They're not bowing or anything. I like it, I like it. All right, so like I said, this is not something that I typically kind of do. I'm really, first of all, I'm trying to get rid of the silver and I did look up to see if there's black safety wire and there isn't, I couldn't find any. So I might keep it on for a little while and see, how, see if it grows on me. Um, it actually kind of looks cool. The third time was a charm. It's really nice, it's straight. All the braids are perfect three straight poles and um, it actually looks it actually it actually looks pretty cool so um, I hope this was helpful I hope it was informational for you guys and uh, as always like I say please hit the subscribe button smash the like button the like buttons are more important than you know ring the bell notification because we got some more work to do on this uh, if you guys are also interested we do have a brand new MT-03 that we're starting a new project on so make sure you head over to the playlist and check out the MT-03 build we just took delivery of it I I also have great news uh, for you guys, past viewers. Thank you guys, old OG subscribers, um, for sticking around. I always drop a little bits for you guys. The new Ultra Rare has been picked up today, this morning, from Michigan. It is on Hall Bikes Big Rig on its way to California right now. And uh, like I said, uh, I think in one video I said it was a 2003. It is a 2002, so I misspoke. It's a 2002, uh, they're, they're, it's an ultra rare. I've only ever seen one of these in person. And the one that I've seen is the one that I'm buying and we're gonna do a full restoration project over the winter on it, so stay tuned. But uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Again, I hope this was helpful. Uh, everything for your pliers and your safety wires, I'll link down below, uh, check it out. And uh, we'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.